It's been a contentious issue for months. The camp at the corner of First Avenue and George Street and council has opted to be rid of it. About time, says one councillor who has been especially vocal. But public safety is our responsibility and the encampment on First and George Street is not safe. It's not safe. The density uh, is, is so extreme that we're asking for problems in there. First responders can't get in. I've been calling for this to be shut down for months and we've been begging, asking and pleading with the province to help us on this. We came, uh, you know, to a, an understanding with an MOU back in June, thinking that would provide rapid response to this issue, which uh, is what the MOU speaks to. Uh, but we haven't seen that yet. What Councillor Kyle Sampson is referencing was a visit from Premier David Eby in June when this commitment was made. Mayor, you and I have just signed an agreement that formalizes our commitment to working together to help people sheltering outdoors move inside and eventually into safe, stable and supportive permanent homes. Our memorandum of understanding also includes a shared commitment to preventing encampments from taking hold in the first place. A statement issued from the Minister of Housing expressed disappointment at Council's decision. And we know the encampments are not safe uh, for individuals living in them for the community, but we also know just moving people without shelter doesn't actually solve the problem. It just moves people to different areas in the city. And, uh, and so we're disappointed that they took that action when we were at the table with them, uh, hand in hand, looking at solutions to make sure that both the community stays safe and those individuals get the supports that they desperately need. In that statement, Callan's ministry noted, we had offered Prince George new resources like dedicated encampment response staff and deployment of temporary housing unit to the community. Despite that, council has chosen not to access those resources to assist people living in Millennium Park to move indoors and to move unilaterally with this decampment in the absence of appropriate resources. Sure, says Councillor Sampson, noting nothing has transpired since the MOU was signed. And that's unfortunate because the community and everyone in it needs help. Uh, we need resources brought here to help the folks who are living and experiencing homelessness and uh, experiencing drug addiction and experiencing uh, all sorts of mental health issues in the downtown. We need those resources in our community. That's why we've so aggressively pursued partnership and, and uh, collaboration with the province and came to that MOU and we need uh, action from that as well now. So absolutely I'm optimistic that we'll continue to um, work with the province uh, but we need them to step up on their jurisdictional opportunities and, and, and responsibilities and we'll do the same on ours. But the minister was responsible was quick to rebut that assertion. The, 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 the council is wrong because uh, if they check with staff, they'll know that our staff have been meeting with them every week, talking about locations, what's viable, uh, what is safe, uh, where is safe, expanding teams uh, that are, will be on the ground. All that work's been happening since June since we signed the MOU. Uh, and to suggest that no work has been happening is uh, utterly false. This particular camp is not subject to the court order, only moccasin flats. And while the city has not specified a day when it has to be gone, it has to be done by September 9th.